When the entries and I are uh, linear forms, so six by six, the, the, the fraction, so it is uh, uh, the, the fraction is the square root of the determinant. So uh, it will be the equation of three. Uh, uh, so for such cubic, we have uh, the theorem that is due to Bodil and Tonaghi. Say that uh, uh, so smooth. Oh, so uh, in the talk, I will always be interested in smooth cubic. Those who bear the name of universal, this new smooth cubic uh, form uh, is fashion. So, and quite smooth. Uh, one is rational. So, the second thing is that in five of lines, so I'm trying lines contained in the cubit, is isomorphic to the even square. If the Hila scheme are regarding the to such scheme, and S for S to give you. But in particular, it is a neighbor color variety, and uh, this is the classical way where you uh, know that uh, the variety of line of many four fold is the Hila color variety. More than one of the pieces. You have this one, which is uh, obviously uh, almost and uh, then you obtain the rest line. So, how to prove it? So, uh, I will, uh, if we see how my fact I can make it correctly by looking at the universal fashion, so I take B, the six dimensional. Vector space and inside it, I, I have the uh, the symmetry map, and inside it, I have the maps that are not of maximal rank, so whose fraction is zero. Cubic inside here, so this is the locus of the uh, And then we have the locus of uh, such maps when the rank is 2 or less. projective 2. And this, if you remember uh, the, the pre current making of the Grassmannian, this is isomorphic to exactly its pre current making. And uh, my, my, so my cubic uh, for four cones uh, also in X take um, the subspace dimension 6 to make it this P5 and then X is the obtained as P dissected with universal function. So, one thing that's come with uh, the theory of uh, determinantal varieties, is that uh, this cubic universal function is singular, and the singular locus is exactly the, the, the matrices of rank uh, one less. Since it is a skew symmetric, you only have one rank, so the singular part. So if you want to have a smooth uh, fashion cubic, so smooth section of this uh, cubic, you are limited to uh, your universal cubic by uh, P5 because any P 
So it is as I have dimension 8, so the dimension 14, so it has for dimension 6, so any uh, PCs with like I said, similar locus, and then you have to be So the, the maximal dimension of a fashion of a smooth fashion qubit is 4. So we have this. Now, how to see that this qubit is rational? Uh, first, look at the component of the resonance. Of this Q symmetric matrix and something is in its kernel. Inside the kernel, we have two natural projections. So we can compute the, the kernel of it. Uh, so the, the fiber uh, and the fiber. So this is the kernel, and uh, um, this page is continued as linearly uh, embedded in the universal TV. And two for the second map, the kernel over the smooth locus, which uh, corresponds to the matrices of rank exactly four, over the smooth locus. It seems the matrices are uh, um, have uh, exactly run before, but the fiber, fiber E over the uh, of Q story over the phi is just the current the representation of the kernel. To, to say that what is the O1 of the, the right fiber. So now, to have my big four fold, I like it by B. So I can take the B, this is just the pre-main.
Now, uh, those two are, so this is 10 dimensional and this is uh, 6 dimensional. Those two are dimensionally, dimensionally transverse, so I recall that we are wedge 2 of, of, uh, of W star, which is uh, 16 dimensional. Uh, so, in general, uh, when it's for V general, This will be uh, the transition will be dimensionally transverse, so it will be one dimensional. So when you take the project, it will be one point. Not the factor. It's one point. So this means that P is directional. One thing. Uh, and one last thing that we have to do is uh, uh, so now take the general hydrogen uh, and take the pre image uh, So we still have the version of the hydrogen itself, so it is still rational. And now when we look at what happens for, for this, since we have taken uh, an hydrogen plane, we have just uh, cut uh, all, all our fibers that were uh, in our P1 uh, once. It's just one point. So QD is is also very And um, if I had to skip, yes, the, just the, I will not put it through this, but just to see uh, from where I can be free and go. And what, what is the link between the get free and, and, uh, and the body? Let's square out the get free and the right of line. So, uh, so we have this story about the uh, investment here. And we can look at the dual of the whole story and get the same thing. And uh, so we, for X, we have to cut by this uh, space. But uh, we can go going to the board, we can cut now uh, the rest by the orthogonal. Place where uh, on which all the, the form here vanishes. So this is uh, eight dimensional. Um, and uh, so, 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 I mean, the, 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 and um, so eight dimensional is something uh, here it is always, always P14, so it is as a dimension six. And it is uh, just cutting the grass onion by uh, six general hyperplanes. So uh, using the adjunction formula, so this item in six, get that the canon is trivial. And then uh, using the shed theorem, because just a hyperplane, we get the vanishing of. So this is okay. the case the case that we are interested in and the, the link is just the, the link that we lost. So if one takes now uh, two different points in the the, the case free, say I will write them as E1, E2, so taking a, a basis of if you wedge before, 
I can look at the plane, the four plane generated by, by the two, like this. So this is just one, two, one, four. Uh, and uh, look at the space of the forms that are in V and uh, vanish whose restriction to this four plane is zero. So uh, I, I took base, uh, two bases to, to, to look at what happened in uh, the uh, matrix of representation. Since uh, our uh, forms are all already in V, they are in the orthogonal of uh, they are in the orthogonal of the orthogonal. So uh, the restriction to P and Q are already zero. So in matrix form, Yes, but this is in just uh, limited to, to, uh, to E1 to E4. And, uh, then to ask that the restriction to the whole uh, four plane is zero is correspond to changing on of the four entries here. So, so correspond to four linear forms. Uh, so the, this space will solve the, this uh, at, at dimension six. So the dimension of this space is at least uh, at least two. So and uh, that's one last thing is to see that uh, this is a relative dimension. Uh, and last thing is to see that it is included uh, in the, 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 the universal partial or the, the, the partial to be the same thing. So, and the way to see that is just to look at the symmetric solution of uh, something which is zero or zero. So you have a big load. And we are going to do uh, I think. Okay. Um, if one computes the, the, the what is the fashion, uh, So it gives you a linear space inside your X. And uh, you can check uh, by dimension argument that the uh, uh, general function doesn't contain planes, so it has to be a line. So this gives you at least uh, the dimension of man to the dimension of, of lines. Then one can extract uh, that you can extend into the divisor that is the dimension. Right. So this is to, to give an example where uh, just having a special representation of the, the equation of cubic gives you a lot of uh, information on the, on the geometry of, uh, of the cubic. So, and we can ask ourselves, um, um, so what, what kind of interest, interesting uh, information you have to have from the cubic in order to have uh, such a special representation. Actually, in the case of fashion, this is easy to, to see. One has just to look at uh, uh, the, the kernel bundle, uh, okay. so, which which is a fiber or You can look at the, the, the kernel, uh, kernel bundle, as you say. Uh, on the smooth part of, of uh, the universal function, it will always do the vector bundle of rank 2. But we are in order to know what happens on 
And actually, it appears um, in the next sequence like, uh, the, the next sequence like, like this. Let's say M is a so in this sort of kind of representation is the R as two symmetric matrix. This is the So for given the diversities or oriented And uh, from this, one can see, so those are just uh, spectral spaces, one, from, one can readily compute the cohomology of uh, this E. You see that so we have many vanishing, which is interesting for us. It is zero for I, one and two, and uh, for MZ. And those kind of, of uh, uh, standard pair spectral station name. So, the current shift of the variety space is arithmetically correct number. That I want to buy ACM. If one thing is that the localization is always the coin number module. Such kind of mechanical operation and uh, those kind of extra abundance. is given by this theorem of the V. is a uh, ACM of dimension by dimension of the ship I mean dimension of the support of the riser then there exists a resolution then Many current shift appearing in uh, uh, such a resolution. Mm 
is uh, ACM. Uh, of dimension and anti protein. And the locus well, the, oh, sorry. So this map here is given by uh, the matrix uh, we form of three uh, A I minus B J and uh, the, the So this is the 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 if and only if uh, the associated gradient module is uh, Cohen Macaulay in the usual sense on the polynomial algorithm. Means that the depth is equal to the dimension. Um, so uh, I think I have used the, the proof of, of the lemma. And but, uh, so if then we have an ACM bundle, then we can look at uh, uh, the module, uh, so, which is Cohen Macaulay uh, of dimension n, because you have. Uh, from so you have uh, uh, the questions of uh, in this question we have the like one dimension uh, so it would be when I call it of dimension n uh, in this so in particular we have uh, always the equality of the that tells us that the sum of the depth and the, and the projective dimension is the dimension of the So this gives us that the projection, the projection dimension of our value module over the polynomial ring is equal to the dimension of the ring, which is n plus 1, minus the depth of, the, of this module, which is the ecosystem accolade. So it has a dimension of one, meaning that there is a like that theorem the resolution uh, of the module that has this form. Some twist of the ring. And then one is the, we just take the, the sheet version of this version. And uh, the, the other way, uh, uh, is if you have uh, such a sheaf, when you localize, you see that uh, you have a resolution of the uh, localization by. Projective modules, uh, so just two steps. We say that the projection and the dimension uh, uh, over the fabric of this will be at most one. So this gives, again, by this equality uh, of uh, gives you that the depth. And then uh, uh, from this segment, we will see that M is generally uh, subjective, and uh, F is supported by yeah, F is subjective, so it is supported um, on 
de, 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 de cinq à chaque fois. So that's what the test dimension uh, on this type. Uh, and but we all also know that uh, uh, in general the, the depth is already bounded by the uh, uh, so we have key, so the localization is uh, co-emaculate with uh, the sense and uh, and the uh, sequence co emaculate the long exact sequence for the vanishing that you identical co-emaculate. So one thing, one other thing that we can say about the theorem is that uh, imagine now that you have uh, that uh, A is uh, the rank R vector than the um, high vector space. Um, you have such a solution. When you localize at the, the generic point of the high vector space, then here you have just the match between two discrete action ring. When you put the, the this form, you will see that uh, the determinant of n is actually the equation of, of uh, x at the power n. So, for example, in the case of Fafian cubics, uh, I erase what I wrote, but uh, in the middle, the map here was given by a skew symmetric uh, matrix. When you take the determinant of the matrix, Find the square of the function, uh, which was the, the branch of the vector bundle that was associated to So now you can think of uh, all kinds of determinants that you can see. Well, uh, for example, the determinant of uh, symmetric surface, symmetric matrices. So the space of symmetric matrices is just could be five inside one has the symmetric cubic, uh, matrices of rank two, and then uh, one has the matrices of rank one that one can should be the Veronese uh, surface. So here it has dimension two, so dimension three. So any uh, free plane with uh, intersect the surface. So, and also by the theory of determinant. Uh, Right here, uh, this is the, the exactly the single locus of the uh, And uh, when you cut by your free plane, you always need the single locus, so uh, you can only represent uh, uh, plane plane cubes. And should be curious uh, as, a, as, a, as a determinant of uh, the smooth one. Always, yeah, I'm always interested in this one. Um, and then the uh, next thing that we can look at is just a uh, usual determinant. That's 8. So this is just a cube 8. Then you have a mean, a cube and uh, the matrices of rank 1 are. Uh, so this is the secret embedding of the so Besides dimension 4, uh, so any 4 plane would be 8 will intersect this uh, singular locus. So you cannot represent a particular locus as a determinant. You can only represent that to the surface. So you intersect that with a different. And then we can feel uh, we have the, the situation of, uh, of the Fafian that we have just seen. And then uh, so, and we have seen that for, for Fafian and Cupid, you can only go, go only to dimension 4. And then what you can uh, ask whether well, uh, there is a, another kind of matrix representation that can give uh, uh, cubic of higher, smooth cubic of higher dimension. And this is where. Uh, yeah, then, 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 okay. the, yes, 
he remarked this to to the, 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 the starting of the, the, the thing is to uh, make a link between skew uh, symmetric matrices. And uh, Hermitian matrices and with equation in, in, in the, 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 the algebra of Cartesian. So, just to, to sketch what it is, uh, so uh, H can be considered as a C vector space as a left C vector space. And then uh, if one takes uh, the quaternion and write it as Z1 plus J Z2 for as i uh, two complex numbers, then multiplication. So now, now one has to, to take the right multiplication on the right. This. Uh, to, to avoid the problem of uh, the lack of associativity. Uh, and then, if one has that, then there is a matrix representation of this. It has the form Z1 minus Z1 minus Z2. And one can play the same game uh, taking uh, matrices, emission matrices with the determinant. So, emission, I mean, for the computation. Uh, in quaternion. So if A is the dimension, say 3 by 3 matrix, you can again write as A1 plus J A2. And if you write the separate things, you will find out that this is dimension, it has to be dimension, complex dimension, and this has to be skew symmetric. And then once, when you, you, you try to see what is the matrix representation when you see H as a, a C2, and then you get uh, and then taking the product with uh, on the left with uh, minus D, uh, you find something specific. You can check if you write down that it's a skew symmetry. So this is just a trick, but the very interesting thing about this is uh, that this, this transformation can uh, preserve the determinants in the sense that uh, you can compute the determinant of the uh, uh, matrix here using the, the rules of uh, quaternion. Uh, give you a cubic form, and this determinant is precisely equal uh, when you do uh, this transformation to the five shell. So, uh, this is the link between the two things. And what is interesting here is that uh, when one sees that, and one sees the, the other two things, so this can be thought as a. Uh, so, okay, um, so this was uh, on the grid. Uh, but we are working on, on the complex, so we have to use uh, complexified quaternions. So you can tell the C or so, and uh, you do this. If you, you, for example, let us start with, with that. Uh, you, if you look at Hermitian three-dimensional matrices, uh, uh, with the in R, yeah, those are precisely symmetric matrices. And you can check that uh, the determinant that you get will be a uh, and this corresponds to parameters and three-dimensional matrices uh, with function in C uh, that we complexify. And uh, once, I mean, if somebody has a, a sort of 
structure in algebra, you recognize the, the classical Jordan algebra. Uh, so to, what is the uh, Jordan algebra? It's, it's a kind of simple Jordan algebra. The Jordan algebra is uh, um, algebra which is commutative uh, and uh, power associative, but in general it is not that associative. Uh, uh, it is used for for quantum mechanics and so on. And you have the classification of simple things like that. So the, the usual way to make to, for example, if you have the space of matrices, the usual way to transform it in the uh, Jordan algebra is to define this product. This makes it representative and you can check uh, all the other rules of so there is a classification of Jordan algebra and the uh, uh, emission stream by uh, n by n matrices, which are R, C, quaternion, uh, are uh, some of them. And uh, there is uh, for uh, one last uh, algebra, which is called uh, the exceptional Jordan algebra, which is made up of uh, octonion and gives us the uh, emission three by three. Is with exception to octonion. So, as in other cases, uh, I write octonion here for complexified octonion. This is the uh, usual octonion which you want. So, those are just matrices of the form. Space of dimension uh, 27, and uh, we have, an, despite the fact that uh, the octonions are not associative, uh, we have uh, a nice notion of determinant. It's not necessary to write down what we Yeah, but, uh, this makes sense, despite the fact that a uh, period of the And the group, the, the subgroup of the linear uh, transformation that preserves this, uh, this uh, form is a group of type pieces. So meaning that, uh, in particular, sorry, that uh, the thinking, thinking diagram of uh, Yeah, uh, at this point. And uh, so let me try the roots. So this corresponds to the, the representation of the D3 uh, in the, the Jordan algebra. This corresponds to uh, the dual. And uh, so you when E acts on the Jordan algebra, you have three orbits. So, one, the complement of the determinantal locus to the smooth part of the determinantal locus. And the uh, single As in other cases, the, the singular part is, uh, is uh, one thing, is the only closed orbit. Again, the, the picture is very, uh, almost the same, uh, the same kind of picture as for Fatian, for this fact. No, no uh, chance, uh, by, not by chance, it's, uh, all are so called secondary variety. So, but for, 
So the singular locus of the, the in this case is, is called the uh, octonion plane or K plane. Um, and uh, it is just this is by the parabolic uh, subgroup defined by the subgroup. And it is called a plane because you have a nice duality between uh, lines, I mean lines here, uh, or between lines and points. So you have uh, first a uh, dual of that, of the story, defined by parabolic, defined by this. And this parameterizes lines in the octonial sense. Um, on the plane. And actually those lines are um, quadrics in the classical sense. Smooth quadrics. Um, okay, and this uh, is variety as I mentioned 16. Uh, and uh, so inside the P26, which is uh, the position of the Delta River. So this tells us that uh, any uh, ten plane may meet the similar vectors, and then uh, can represent cubic of dimension f yes. And uh, what, what, what is so next? One thing that we can uh, look at is um, the, the information, the ACM bundle associated to such a representation. I have an idea of what it is. So, uh, to this, uh, let me introduce the polarized version of the determinant. So, this is a cubic form. Right, you take the three linear forms of this cubic form. So, uh, this gives a map which is can be checked to be actually uh, irrational between uh, the German algebra and the So this is directional and sends the the, the, com the complement of the determinant locus is sent to the same the complement of the determinant locus uh, as the individual part. This is sent to track it to and uh, it is not defined in this locus, but uh, when you resolve the similarity, you go up this locus and uh, descend to the, the, the dual K, the, the dual uh, K. So I call the universal cubic in this case. Uh, C unique. C for K, because uh, it is the given element. And uh, so there, there, there is a lot of geometry type story. And uh, one thing is that when one takes a square point inside the cubic, one can uh, look at the, the send it to the dual plane and look at the line, the Octonian line. The usual plane. So you can actually associate to each part of the, 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 the smooth part. One, one uh, I do not Q because it is a, in the first person, it is a quadrant. 
to. And uh, the study is satisfied that uh, P is in the span of uh, this project that we from. And uh, one other thing, uh, so we have, those products are always smooth. So you can look at the, the, the polar to P respect to to the quality, so it means that the points that are uh, uh, that pairs zero with the uh, e when you look at the bilinear form given by the quality, uh, and gives you it gives you a better plane uh, inside this uh, this uh, spot here. And that can think of as a representation of some vector space with the URT. And actually, um, so one can look at uh, this, what this map does, but now uh, in the shift version. So the shift version of that. Again, I think of the locus when it's not the kind of the And we look at the book on that. When one looks, looks at that, uh, one can prove actually that uh, the thing that we cover here is a uh, is a long thing to the the coming from the polar or with this construction. So one can check it at, uh, for example, at one point with uh, explicit computation, with explicit matrices, and using uh, the formula here, and uh, transport the results by uh, the action of E6 because it acts on the smooth locus of the universal Kelly. So, uh, and this gives us uh, then the Rank nine vector bundle on the smooth locus of the of the uh, and uh, it is easy from taking the long exact sequences that to, to see that uh, such a thing will always satisfy all the mentioned that we want to for this to be easier. So this is a ACM vector binder associated to, to this representation as a kind of orthogonal determinant. So, and uh, uh, so this is due to, to get a manual. So, and uh, we can look at, so we have seen that the uh, maximum dimension that we can have is our cubic of dimension 8, and for cubic of dimension 7, You can look at the uh, computer for the dimension uh, of uh, such cubic uh, of dimension 7, which would be of autonomy. Uh, so if we compute that, we would find uh, so this is uh, the size of dimension 28, uh, and this is the same as the dimension of the modular space of uh, cubic three-fold uh, of the cubic <laughs> seven-fold, sorry. Uh, and then we have a manuvel um, prove that the map Dominant. So the way they do that is again to, to take the, the, the 
very explicit to take uh, one example and compute the differential of the map at this example and uh, with uh, some computation with the help of some uh, software, they manage to prove that it does maximal work. So, uh, what is unknown is the quantity of the map. Very easy. Um, another thing that is nice about those, those cubic um, is that uh, the general. Okay, first, uh, not all cubic eightfold will be represented by the, as such, because the wind the dimension. Uh, Uh, something like uh, and uh, the dimension of the light space is much bigger. And, uh, so for sure, uh, not uh, not every any uh, dimensional cube will be represented as a, as a determinant or kind of a non-determinant. So, but the result is that, like in the case of uh, uh, for, for the general. Uh, big, 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 This is an uh, argument to prove that. Um, um, is to first, first it's, uh, to uh, define what is called the uh, variety of dimension n and uh, to n plus 1. Variety uh, having uh, the, the smooth variety, but they have uh, an apparent double point. General point of uh, the present space, there is only one second. Only one second it passes. And if you have the lemma is that if you have such a severity inside a cubic, Surface, x is a cubic, and this has a apparent double point, then the cubic has to be rational. So this is uh, very easy, it's just uh, you take any hyperplane uh, inside of your space, you can find the map to x. Now, for a general point, just look at uh, the second uh, line uh, passing through x and you intersect with x with the cubic. So, uh, in general, you have uh, three points, but you already know two of, uh, two of them are on this um, map. So, you take the red joint point and uh, it is really seen to be convertible because uh, the same. At the second passing that y, you have the second y. So if you draw pictures, so and uh, the, the, the thing is to to prove that uh, you have such a variety. I just mentioned uh, the variety that comes inside your 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 cubic. So you, the variety we have. So the thing uh, we are testing in is uh, the so-called spin-off varieties. So spin-off varieties are just uh, the parameterized uh, in 
n minus one uh, inside the quadric of dimension two n. So there are uh, two families of, of, of them uh, always, always or for and uh, so we call it both from here as you know. And uh, the, we are interested in the spinner variety uh, S10, so just to give a turn right to the into that. So this is the Dicky diagram of uh, uh, of uh, spin 10. And uh, so it is just the linking diagram of E6 when uh, take up one of the rules. So it's just a more that you, you will find uh, in the geometry of, of, of the things, the link between uh, the K cubic and So you have, uh, uh, the thing is that you have such a spin off variety inside the spin off representation uh, here, uh, inside uh, your KDQs. So and the uh, uh, general section of, of this by uh, the sigma that we will take will be less than. Uh, in the general in uh, This will have, uh, 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 say, a countable point. So, say, just a very, very quick word. Because I'm already on time. Just very, very quickly, I can say more if somebody has a question. Um, this, is, this has some link uh, with uh, so called triality for. S8. So S8 parametrizes uh, P3 inside the cubic of dimension uh, 6. And uh, so both, there are, there are two families of them. And uh, uh, so we are interested in SO8. In this. And this uh, way corresponds to the usual representation, and those correspond to the R spin of the R spin of representation. And uh, so this suggests that there, there is a, a notomorphism of the algebra of the proof that exchanges the, those three representations. They are isomorphic under such uh, automorphism. So, uh, as a consequence, you, you get uh, uh, an isomorphism between the spin of IRC and the cubic of uh, dimension 6 itself. And uh, so once you have, so you have a link to start by, by this first thing, this starting from this six, and then the link from that to that is just to look at the, 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 the lines on the cubic, on the, on the, on the quadric, sorry. Uh, the in this case, uh, I think this is classical algebraic geometry uh, through the point, the given point x is just a uh, quadric of dimension x. So this provides a uh, theory of the link, uh, and then, uh, so, paying a review the, the geometry of uh, all of this, Right here is a point that the cubic eightfold will be rational. Questions?
Yes. Yes. Yes, I can hear. Oh, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you write a little bit bigger? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Just write a little bit. Okay, so I will start. The title of the talk is Quantum Representation of Fundamental Groups of Chords. I should have said of surfaces, of Riemann surfaces, with infinite image. So the, the aim of, of this talk is to report a, a theorem of Coverda. Uh, Santa Urbana. that says the following. We will take uh, a Riemann surface of genus G that we always take orientable with n market points. And such that the fundamental group is not trivial and it is not a billion. Then in this case, uh, There exists a representation, a projective representation uh, that I will call rho of the this fundamental group um, to some projective linear, linear group of same dimension. D over C satisfying two conditions. The first one is that it has infinite image and the second one is that if we take a simple curve By this, I mean that the Motsuki class in the fundamental group has a representative a simple curve that only intersects in the, in the base point. Then the, the image of this, of this element has finite order. So, This will be the objective to, to give a sketch of the proof, to give the, the main ideas of how, how it's improved. And should I use two main Yeah. So the idea comes from a, a representation of a mapping class group using a CQFT. So I will start a with some ideas of 
of Tucker T. Topological quantum field theory. So I will define a, a power piston. I will work with Riemann surface. So power piston will be a, a three-dimensional variety. I will denote by M a three-dimensional manifold. Uh, oriented, I will take always all my all my manifolds will be oriented uh, such that the boundary of M decomposes as the union of of two surfaces, the joint units. Then we call M is a cover disc from a S1 to S2. And consider the, the category C defined as follows. The objects are uh, Riemann surfaces. Uh, in the morphisms, are cover disons modulo isotopy relative to the boundary. So, whenever you have two surfaces, this one, next two, and we have a, a three variety M, such that the boundary is the surface is one and is two in the another orientation. Uh, we can take this this autopy class, but it it, it just fits the the boundary point point wise point by point. You can move inside and not in there. And this is the category C. So loosely speaking, um, a CQFT is a pointer from from these categories to the to the category of finite dimensional vector spaces plus some other actions. So TQFT is a pointer. Let's say I will denote by B from this category to find a dimensional vector space, let's say it's over C plus some other actions. And now we are interested in, in representations so I will use for the use later some consequence. If you take a, a cover disc, would you have the same surface S1 and S2 as the joint union? Uh, let's say S M. And here we have again S, and you take the the functor of this of this morphism. This will land in the endomorphisms of the vector space associated to to S. So if we can construct explicitly this. And this space, this vector space, we are close to get a, a, a representation if we can construct this in, a, in an easy way. We will see later how to construct. Just try to, to keep this in mind. And uh, we will work in a very explicit construction of GQFT uh, that is due to 
Blanchet, Habiger, Mosbaum, and Vogel. That is derived from the from Kalman bracket. And for this, I will now take uh, M in compact three manifold and recall that uh, a node is just an embedded uh, circle and a link is a finite union of, of nodes. Um, I will define the the Kaufman bracket sky module and for this we need to fix a complex number that is not zero. When we have fixed this number, we define this as the C module generated by isotopy classes of links in, a, in M. Well, this is kind of module will be called. Kaufman of M of M modulo two relations that I will call the Kaufman um, bracket relations. These are the following. Just just uh, to be clear, these links should be thought as framing links. So we think in a, in a little bit of a, of a angle with a, some orientation instead of a, of a circle. But I will, I will omit the, this frame and all the things that I would say will be framed. So the first government relations, these are uh, local relations. Whenever you have a link and you have a, a crossing in local in some part like this, you can untwist this crossing in two ways. You put this complex number A and you undo the crossing in, in a parallel way. You replace uh, this part by this, and all the other parts of the links are uh, uh, lived in the same way. You just replace this part. And you replace also in this other way. So whenever you have it, you replace by this and you need to some, some links. And the second relation is the following. Whenever you have a, a link in a, in a knot, you can replace this by the following uh, coefficient so you can remove the nodes up to multiply by, by some constant and this will, will give you a, a module that is called the, the Kaufman bracket module and this is used to construct the, the CQFT by Malzbaum and, and others. So, let me, let me state two facts. First, we have the, the Kaufman bracket of the three sphere is uh, so more to see. So every every knot in let's say R three 
you, you can unlock by this relation, and you will have uh, some combination of, of circles. And then you can remove all the, all the circles by, this, by these relations, and you will end with, with C. So this is generated by the NC node, and we will use this later. And we will have also uh, another file that let S be a compact and then oriented, but this time connected as Raymond surface. Then uh, there exists two or three manifolds that I will call handle bodies, two handle bodies. H and H prime, such that we can decompose the three sphere in the following way. Um, the boundary of the two handle bodies is the surface S, and if you make the union by identifying these boundaries, you will obtain its three. So, a handle body is a three manifold that uh, the formation retracts to a graph. So we can think as as a tubular neighborhood in R3 of, of some graph, these this handle bodies. And this decomposition uh, exists, and we will need it in the, in the following. So, we will have here, we will have some module, but this, this module in, in most cases is not of finite dimension. Yes. But, uh, and in order to construct the TQFT, we need finite dimensional vector spaces. So we will make a, the following construction in order to get something of finite dimension. Whenever you have a, a surface S, a such decomposition, you can make the Kaufman module of H, the Kaufman module of H prime. This will give you a symmetric uh, bilinear form defined from the Kaufman module of H and Kaufman module of H prime to the Kaufman of the sphere that we will we say that is isomorphic to C. And how is it done? When you take a link, in, uh, in the Kaufman module of uh, H, and you take a second in here, you simply send it to the class of the union. So this will give you a, a complex number. However, you, this can be the generic and to so obtain something of finite dimension is the the interesting thing or the impressive fact is that uh, if we quotient by the left of the right kernel, we obtain something of finite dimension. So let we will use the, the notation for the for the function. Let a of s. Uh, Respectively, B A of its prime, B the quotient of this Kalman bracket. Mm, again, respectively, 
the second one, Biden, left, right, kernel of this bilinear form. So the left kernel of here is the element here such that it is sent to zero for all the elements in the second one. So one that we caution by this, we obtain something that is and on the generate key, we'll do the same thing here for the right. So this implies that we will have a, a such a bilinear form that I will denote in the same way. This goes from the from this the space that will be a vector space, we don't know yet, but uh, that's the interesting stuff. So see, this is symmetric, uh, bilinear, and uh, non-degenerate. Well, actually, the TQFT construction works only with, um, with a, uh, a 2n primitive root of unity. We will see this. Later. And now, an explicit basis can be constructed, and this basis is of combinatorial type. So let me let me begin with this with this description. Uh, for this, I will. I will define the temperature in algebra. Now we will consider S3 with uh, two in market points. I will uh, use some the links, represent this in a planar design, and I will mark endpoints in the upper part of the first square and another endpoints in the lower part. So a tangle is uh, an embedding of of the interval 0, 1, 0, 1. And we will consider again, just to be precise, a, a frame of this. So we will consider an embedding of a rectangle. But uh, that joins two of these in two endpoints. And um, the Temporal Elliot algebra of degree n is defined as the C module uh, generated by the isotopy classes of tangles modulo the Kalman bracket relations. Just very similar to what we need to define the Kalman bracket model. We have two relations, one relating the crossing and one given the that we can replace the not. So here we can have other things. There is a, a, a basis for this. A basis for this algebra is is given by the identity tangle. Well, I have to say how to multiply it in a moment. So the identity is just have all the vertical lines connecting to, to the corresponding point. But we also have another element, E1 until 
e a minus one. Mm, define it in the following way. We connect two, the first two, and the other just in the same way. And uh, a minus one is just connect the the a minus one point to the point one. Uh, multiplication is by just that position. We just put one inside another, so we have here some, some tangles, and then we make another here, so we can make an isotopy to, to get inside the string. This, this will define a, a multiplication in this, in this algebra. So, there are some important elements here. Uh, that are called the uh, Jones. Is the correct? When I don't call it. And here we need to fix uh, the A. So now this was a complex number, I used to define all of this. But now, let A be a uh, 2P parameter root of unity. Mm. The construction of the TQFT depends if P is odd or if uh, P is uh, Dispersed, so we will work here with P. Oh, that is the case that Roberta Santao or consider with P. Oh. So now uh, there will exist some very specific elements in this algebra that are called the Jones Wells eigenpotents. That are defined in the vector Sigley. I won't write the formula, but I'll, we'll just write some, some properties. So there exists um, FR for a uh, So this, these are item points. If you if you have one fr here and you have another one fr, and you connect them, this is to the power of two, you will just obtain fr. And these are also um, connected in the following way. If you do the product of this item points with the elements of the basis, this will be zero for a i strictly smaller than r. So why do we need this item potency? We need them because this will be important to construct the, the explicit basis of the of the vector space that we that we were searching. I will just write some numerical conditions uh, just for completeness, but I so let A, B, C be uh, non-negative integers such that um, A, B, C do not exceed P minus 2. Um, they satisfy the following inequality. 
n n plus b plus c is even. So, what these numerical conditions are for? Whenever we have a, a trivalent and graph, let's say uh, this is a part of another graph, we have a vertex, the only exactly three edges. In this will be colored, let's say we have a sign, uh, an edge, a number A, so each A, edge, B, and C. So this will give an element of the temporal linear algebra by the following formula. Uh, each of these numbers will represent an idempotent In the, this will live now in the, in the Kaufman bracket module. So these are representing elements in the Kaufman bracket module record that we need to construct some, some basis of this Kaufman bracket. And these conditions are, in order to be defined, it should be even because the temporal linear algebra is defined over two n points. And then we want them to be, uh, to be a basis. So this is a computation for the basis. And then, we have another condition we call, call the triple A, B, C admissible if uh, they satisfy one, two, three, and mo moreover we have another condition four, A plus B plus C, mm, two minus B minus four. Yeah, a lot of conditions. So now, how how this enters to to make the basis of the of the quotient of the Kalman bracket? Uh, recall that we have written the the three sphere as the union of two handle bodies, and uh, as H is a handle body, it the formation of graphs to a graph, let's say G, and we can construct the graph such that it is prevalent. So we will have now a prevalent graph, and uh, we want to color the graph in every vertex and every three edges. We will ask that the, the triple is a visible. So maybe I have to write it in the dimension. Um, a pink coloring of this one assigns to every edge in the edge of the graph a number. And then we have the finally the, the theorem that gives us the, the basis. So this is problem as well in Blanchet, Ebert Mas, Van Hogan. I also use the properties. This is a admissible. So this is a global admissible coloring. So the admissible 
colorings of the graph. G correspond to the elements of a basis of mm, the BS. Recall that the, the quotient of the Kalman bracket by the left uh, kernel we, we will denote it by VA of, of S. And uh, the way to prove it is uh, you have a, a bilinear form here, so you can compute the norm. And you have also a, a norm that are handle body, so you, you want to, to relate the construction here to the other elements. And you, you will see that in order for the elements of, to be not zero, they, they should satisfy some. Uh, some conditions in the colorings, and well, this will this will give you this will give you a basis. So, what do we want to do now? Is we have a constructed a basis. We want to see how the mapping class group or how the the fundamental group acts on it. So, recall that the mapping class group of a surface of genus G and with n marker points is the homeomorphism preserving the orientation module of the homomorphism that, some, that are isotopic to their identity. Um, in, re remember that we, at the very beginning, I said that the TQFT functor gives you a, an endomorphism of the, when you have a, a covertism with the boundaries are the same surface. So now you have a, an element of the, of the modular group. You can construct the cylinder. Mm. The cylinder of this. That this is the final use terms. Although we have a, we have the surface is G N times zero one. Both in zero one we identify the points X one with uh, phi the x1. So we simply make the, the this homeomorphism act, it twists a little the surface, and we, we twist the this this cylinder. So now this group you have an inverse and this will give you a Was using the TV of key functor. And automorphism of this mm. vector space, BS. If it's uh, a little bit uh, theoretical, we cannot do computation like that, but we will see later how to do some computations. So it is not yet a, a representation. Uh, we need to see that they respect the, the, the relations of the mapping class group. And for CDs, we, you will, will need to see that the relations are sent to, to trivial elements. This is not the case. The relation is just projective. We need to take the projectivization of this automorphism in order to get a, a real representation. So this will give a, a representation in row uh, that comes from the Modular group of CN to the projective group of the automorphism of this vector space GN. Mm. 
This is a, a representation of this satisfy the, the condition. So, well now the the statement in the in the theorem that I started with it was the representation of fundamental groups, not of mapping class group. So I will state now this theorem, something called the Birman exact sequence that says the following. Suppose that our surface that has Euler characteristic uh, strictly negative, then if we consider a point x0 uh, in the surface different from the n market points, uh, we will have a, an exact sequence in the following way. The fundamental group of this surface in this base point will inject into the mapping class group of SGN, but uh, we will need to fix also the, the base point now. And uh, this will project into the original mapping class group of the surface. So now if we have a, a representation of of this group, you will obtain by restriction a representation of, of this pushing pushing morphism, pushing point morphism. And there are some considerations to be taken here, I will I will omit. And uh, I will also mention a theorem due to uh, to mass one. Well, you can see the same. That says the, says the following thing. Inside the, the mapping class groups, there are some very special uh, elements that are called then twist. So we need to pick a, a curve and then it will define something like a twist or half twist around the, the curve. And indeed, they generate, they, you need a finite number of them to generate this mapping class group. And uh, a first theorem is that if, uh, if you have an element in the mapping class group such that uh, it's a then twist, then the, the element under this representation has finite order let's say for uh, for p big enough so now the the second part of the theorem of coverga said that if we had a, an element represented by a simple curve Yes. So, if the other characteristic is greater or equal to zero, that's not true. Uh, can you say that again? So, it's really important that the other characteristic is uh, negative for that. For for this one? Yes, I mean, uh, it, it should be like in the statement of the theorem, yes, that the, that the fundamental group is not a, is not a billion, let's say. Uh, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, let, let's say it has the, the all the characteristics negative as well. Yeah, thank you. So in particular for the, for the uh, I mean, elliptic curves escape on themselves. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about the elliptic curves, yeah. I don't... Okay, yeah, well, I will continue, sorry. So, what else? So this actually implies the, the second part of the, of the theorem, because if you consider this point pushing morphism, you will see that the image is the a product of two then twists that are disjoint, and then the, they will commute. So in, in the representation, everyone will have finite order, and then the, the image of these single chords will be will be finite. So that's, let's say, easy. And uh, the easy part of the, of the theorem. And now we we'll see, I will make some, some computations, some, what will give the idea of, of the proof that it has infinite image. Uh, So I will consider the representation of P1 of S of 3 with some X point to, to this projected denominator. So now we will consider S3 and we will Write it as before. We needed some under body, and now we will take S two as the surface embedded in S three. Now I will consider the, the in the center, and this will be H. This will be H prime. I will mark four points in in S two, and I will consider a. This is a little small generalization. You will consider an univalent, unitrivalent graph. You have a trivalent, but in the market points, you will have only one vertex. So this will be uh, our graph. And then the theorem that we state about the, the basis continues to hold. So a basis for uh, uh, VA of is a zero with four points is given in the in the following way. We have this on a, a trivalent graph. We have one, one, two, two, and, and these are our computations that are made, let's say, by Funar or that they are just taken for granted, but you can find the, the reference for the, for the basis. A will be 0 or 2. So this will form a, a complete collection of admissible uh, colorings of our uh, spine of the, of the tree of the handle body, and then we will need to see how, how they act. So, using the, the correspondence with the Jones Wentz Island Potence, we identify to, to some bases, even in, in the following way 1, 1, and now I will just write 2 for the, for the Island Potence. So, this is U1, uh, some element of the basis, and then we have. U2, uh, another element of the basis. For example, this, if you consider here 0, uh, you have a way inside the bottom that is only 1, and you just connect the, the, the two market points. And here you have uh, the two ways inside the bottom, and here again, so you just connect them, and you remove the, the, zero, the zero weight. 
So we will take like, as base point this this market point here and. Um, If we consider the, the sphere with four map points, one that serves as a, as a base point, we can consider the standard generators of this, of the fundamental group, and we will have to compute the action on this spine. And, uh, to compute this action, we will need to describe this point pushing morphism. And actually, this the point pushing morphism is just to, to make a twist around the, the inverse of the of the path. So let me take an orientation of this. And uh, there is a mapping class group like you will uh, move around the the path in the inverse sense. So The, the way to do it is to, to define a, a cover vision of S2 with four marked points. And we, we do this like this. We consider the path from, uh, from 0 to 1, and we consider it the inverse direction. And then the other points are used. Uh, constant in all the, the zero one. And then here we will have uh, the vertex, the, the spine that we have considered. So in the paper, cover that change of, of basis, they do not consider this the same basis, but here there is a change of basis in this. And uh, this corresponds to 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. Mm, this is quite standard. They have some computation. They have formulas to change the basis. And they have been thousands of papers just to, to compute this, this formula. So we have here uh, 2, 1, 2, 1. And this can be seen to well, you can cross this and make it to the to the bottom, and this will coincide with with the following feature. So, so now the computations are uh, in the following sense. You will have a. a some tangles, and you will have the Kalman bracket relation. So, for example, here you can undo this this part, and then you you erase and you obtain two different knots and some some constants. So, doing this until you obtain something related to this basis, you will obtain that. Uh, That you can express this this element as a matrix. So you can do this, and you will find that this is equivalent to this U1. So you see what you want. So you find one and zero. And if you do computations for the for the second element with the with the same gamma one, you will find the following. A to the power of minus 10, A minus 2, and A minus 12. So this is very long computation, actually. And you will find similar matrices for, for rho, the gamma 2. So now, the second part says that if you have a simple curve, the image will have finite uh, the torsion. So now you will have to compute the, the matrix 
of some element that is not simple. So we can consider the number eight here, and there is no homotopy that is simple. There is no representative of the homotopy that is simple. So we can show that if we take the element gamma one, gamma two, minus one, this is simply the the age figure here, and we take uh, the representation. This can be obtained just by inversing one and making the total. And then we take the trace of this. This will be this will tend to to five as we we take the the root of unity go to. To certain root of unity, and this will be bigger like than two. If this matrix has finite order, then uh, in a diagonalized form, the the elements in the diagonal are just uh, root of unity. So if we take the trace and if we take the absolute value. The absolute value should be uh, less or equal to two. So if this is bigger than two, this has infinite order. So hence this element and now that you have the case for the functional sphere. You can decompose a, a general Riemann surface in in some part of this uh, functional sphere, and by the TQFT, it follows that it, they will admit also an element with infinite order. And this is finished the proof of of covariance and So I will stop here. So let's have a question. Well, if not, I'm going to